people here than there are at the expo. This is cool. It's actually like a warehouse full of games. You get down two or three games and then it clicks. I'm like, wait a minute, there's something not right about this. I, I felt the need to really put the beating on somebody. Full swing right now. We're having a blast. Let's go, oh, big ass. Oh, what? <laughs> it's been a while since I've scoped the joint. We're coming back to the guy's table who we got the Mario's fun with letters from. I'm going through some of the scraps that he has, and I'll look over to the right, and on a cart, I see a box. It has F Zero written on it and Super Nintendo. It's never seen US air, ever. A factory sealed box of factory sealed boxes of factory sealed F-Zeros in them. Player's choice, mind you. Well, there's 24 right there. I'll take a box for $10. It's okay. the greatest hits version or player's choice, but at the same time, it's a factory sealed, you know, Super Nintendo game. F-Zeros, oh yes, completely boxes in boxes here. Oh, great. Pretty freaking cool. Just one? Yeah. Just one. This is really cool, especially since these boxes have never been in anybody else's hands. They've been in factory sealed containers. Well, sealed F zeros in two boxes. Guess how many Patrick the NES punk has? Zero. I know. These are like coasters, there's so many of them, but I think it's still pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's so good. Now I'm happy to have this factory sealed F-Zero, but it's reminding me of another boxed game that I'd really love to have, and that's Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo. And it just so happens that Pat brought the Contra 3 box that he swiped underneath me and Rue's noses at Vegas. Pat and the freaking Contra box. On being human kicked leagues of ass. They are awesome. And they're also a little too good looking for the site, which is kind of a problem. These guys are so handsome, they make guys that are tens look like twos. <laughs> I, I was so hyped up after this concert. I, I just I, I felt the need to really put the beating on somebody. Oh, Billy's yeah. just putting the beat down on this fan. I figure. He's probably got that coming. I should go over there and help him. Now, I've heard of people asking for a beating before, but this guy was literally asking for a beating. It's kind of becoming a magfest tradition to beat down this fan named Doug. Turns out he just wanted a RetroWare TV stomping. He was a cool guy. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh yeah! This is the first time I met Jay, but my God, is he gay? So my good buddy Chris here of NES Complex hooked me up with the Motocross Maniacs. You like Dude. this game? I do. I love this game. We just received probably some of the coolest gifts ever. This is some cross stitching. Well, I don't know if it's really cross, but it's stitching. I wanted to do something nice for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of video games here at MagFest. I'm not seeing a lot that catch my eye in terms of great bargains. So Lance has been talking about this place called E-Starland. You know what, let's just go. 
about 45 minutes away or so. I'm not in the habit of showing my butthole to anybody. Now what's really cool about this for me is being able to take a game chasing trip with all of the RetroWare crew. Well heck yeah I'll go man, thanks so much for asking me. It'll be nice to go to a retail store where they're gonna have a huge selection. I really wanna go on this trip but we have some interviews lined up for the video game years. I'm gonna ride with the guys to East Starland. Why? There's video games all around you at MAGFest. That's like being at the zoo and saying, oh, let's drive an hour to go to the pet shop to look at snakes. I, I don't know. Pulling up here to East Starland, and I can't help but think that this looks more like an office building. Okay, is this a video game store? Like, you know, are we gonna look for games or are we gonna file TPS reports? Finally, we go through the doors and you're like, okay, this is a video game store. It's actually like a warehouse full of games. It's pretty awesome. Try pro wrestling. Billy and Jay are immediately scavenging the NES games like, like it's their job. There's retro, there's toys, there's figurines, there's candies, and there's imports. Seems like you're having a field day though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen a lot of stuff. I mean, this is pretty impressive. One thing that I'm really kind of taking an interest in here is that they have a lot of TurboGrafx-16 games and a lot of Super CD games. More here than there are at the Expo, which is cool. So I'm very interested, but yeah, I still don't know much about them. So, you know, I always try to get some advice when I can. Oh, you got a PC Engine Duo? Yes, and I don't know anything about the games for it. And I'm, I like shooters on the PC Engine TurboGrafx-16. And I don't know, is this a shooter? Uh, you know, I actually don't know anything about this one. Oh yeah, this must uh, this might be one of the cards that actually has uh, an extra little lift on it to, to okay. save the memory and stuff on it. Okay. Jurario's in here just just turning out this Japanese and I'm That's cool. I mean you speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Very very bad. Look what I stumble upon. Toys. Yes. East Starland has a section with video game toys. I'm excited already. The little blind box, Dot, oh. Mega Man. Oh, it's like, it's like a little square? Yeah. Oh, okay, a keychain. It's got a keychain attached to it, but that's it's awesome. Bonanza Brothers. Bonanza Brothers for Genesis, I've got to pick that up. You see how much? It's not your typical retail store. It's in a warehouse, so they don't have everything labeled with a price. They're labeled with an item number, and you have to go up to the front and scan each item to find out how much it is. Some of them are priced better than others. It's a little hit or miss, but actually Bust a Move 4 is the cheapest I've ever found anywhere. Uh, this game I've been looking for forever. Like this was actually one of the games that got me to buy the PlayStation in the first place, Bust a Move 4. And uh, I, I bought it at one time, but I sold it. And every single time I sell a game, I regret it. So hold on, hoard those games. What was that game you were playing the other day? Like on the Super Nintendo? Where you go up all the floors. Magic Sword. Magic Sword. <sighs> That's, I can't believe I forgot about that. That's one of the ones I'm still looking to pick up on. Now. So I'm looking through these games, NES games, and I scan through an Eliminator Boat Duel and get down two or three games and then it clicks. I'm like, wait a minute, there's something not right about this. They all like that? I don't know. I have it, but I don't know if mine's like that or not. So I noticed the misspelling on Eliminator. Can you phone a friend? Stupid Pat, never around when I need him. Call Pat who couldn't make it out to the store with us. Hi, oh, reached the phone of Pat. Worthless. The misprint. You never find these. So I was very excited. I told him to pick it up right away. Pat basically said that the the typos were on the first run and they're okay. supposed to have all been fixed. He said he okay. hadn't seen one pop up on eBay in over a year. You can't find these things anywhere. Like here's mine. And then on the top. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's a fantastic game. Yeah, you started the beginning of the game. So I've got the download title, but means you I beat it, but I, I wasn't too impressed. Oh, really? Like, by the this download. one's different. This is like, I don't know, they haven't, I've liked this one better than yeah, all of them so yeah, far. Yeah. Now with all the retro stuff, I think to myself, there's got to be one game that I've just been looking for that they've got to have that I haven't been able to find for a long time. And the name escapes me. There was a game I used to have that uh, it generated a random dungeon. Or no, not PS1. Uh, I think it was actually a Genesis game. Oh. Random, uh, random dungeon, and uh, you just kind of go through it. Mm -hmm. I'm not. No, I'm not, not sure. Genesis. Uh, maybe, maybe Lance would know actually. 
Uh, it had a random dungeon that kind of every time you started it, you got a different dungeon kind of randomly generated. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I imagine like that. What's the name? I had it when I was younger, when I first had my Genesis. <laughs> I've been looking for it. I remember Fatal Labyrinth. I run to the Genesis section, and sure enough, it's right there. So I'm really excited about this. I haven't seen this game in years and years. Horrible reviews, but I love this game. Hmm, what's going on here? <laughs> I love Donkey Kong, I'm buying this. <laughs> Sigma Star Saga. Heard this is a great game. It's a combination between a shoot 'em up and an RPG. Definitely getting this since it's only $5 and it even comes with a box. What is that? It's a doll gear. Not a figure, not a doll. A doll gear. Doll gear. Apparently it's a combination between a doll and a figure, dude. That's uh, I kind of ha have to, right? <laughs> it's one of those things that I don't really think I can pass up despite how kind of weird it is. I got Sky Kid, which is just a cool game that I played on a Namco compilation, I believe. Right? Isn't that on there? Isn't that on that yeah. Namco Why yeah, it's the? Like yeah. It says, it says Sunsoft. He says, not a good game? It's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm caught slipping. Uh, it's, I mean, it's cool because it's got all the pictures and stuff. That's what so. I like. Yeah, I know. I love these. Like the numbers telling you the yeah. order to beat <laughs> Mega Man 2. So I got uh, Top Secret Passwords Nintendo Player's Guide for all the those hard Nintendo games I can't get past. Billy said this was a good deal. I'm pretty clever when it comes to this sort of thing. Find a Forgotten Worlds for like 25 bucks. I've never seen this pretty much anywhere. I think I have a bargaining chip to get that Contra 3 box. I got Spy Hunter on the, in the NES. Now, the reason I got this is because Pat uh, basically says this is mostly his most nostalgic game or whatever. And he, I know that he's got that Contra 3 in the box. I'm gonna get Jay and I, and we're gonna sign it. I'm gonna autograph it and give it to him, and hopefully he'll he'll trade me for the Contra 3 box. He should just give me the Contra box already. You think that's gonna work? It might. It might. I don't think so. <laughs> East Arlen is definitely a place everyone needs to visit at least once, um, simply for the fact that they're they're gonna have a lot of things that you know you don't run into a lot. It's a lot of stuff. It's like bigger than anything we have in Colorado, so it was really cool to check out. East Starland was great, and I think we all we had some good time. All had some good time. We had a great time. It is exactly what I thought it would be like. Uh, it's just like the show. They're uh, all secretive. I hate walking into places like this with a bunch of people. It's like, where do you go first? Yeah, don't want to get caught oh, slipping on. Oh. See, that's what I'm saying, they're all secretive. <laughs> <laughs> don't say a lot. Well, that's strange. Mine also has a misprint on the label. Huh, you know what? Maybe I forgot that every copy of a Limited Boat Duel is a misprint. You fool, I pranked you. <laughs> it's my boy Jake right here. There's Jake, really no and he don't forget to Shrek the Hall. <laughs> so we finally get back from East Starland and we go up to Dan's and Norm's room. Okay. That did sound really gay. So it's the last night at MAGFest, so we're gonna have a good time any damn way. Me, Jay, Eric, Norm, and Dan were able to just like bond, and I think we kind of found out that when we get together, things get pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and look, these people just saw us over here. <laughs> There's far too much clothing in this room. <laughs> we can see in the courtyard at the hotel rooms that are facing ours, we can see people just partying in their window, partying it up. We're like, oh, you think that's a party? Have you ever seen a room full of shirtless men? That's when things got kind of weird. Things get crazy. Yes, I did, yeah. Yes, dude. Mr. <laughs> like a helicopter. Okay, okay. <laughs> why is everybody's shirt off? Why, why, why are our shirts off again? <laughs> Hairy nipples everywhere, and then it starts to get weird. Lights up! Lights up! Okay, now move it! One! It was just like Manfest 99 all over again. I am sad that I missed the shirtless 30-somethings again. But oh well, I'm sure in this video itself, I could check them out uh, shirtless and get my rocks off that way. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> and that's how America go.
So the party left the room, and we all start going to the game room. And everybody's three sheets to the wind. This is like 3.30 in the morning. This is drinking. On our way to the arcade room, something amazing is happening. Yes, sir. Not go Super Saiyan. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Jay about to go Super Saiyan? <laughs> Wow. Just wow. I'm Jay, and I'm Super Saiyan. <laughs> He's for real. <laughs> Super Saiyan just happened. Like this. See, what you have here is a little scratch. Super Saiyan, I'm Super Saiyan. Hey, Rue here, guys. Recognized. The whole time we've been at the convention, no shirts off. And son of a <laughs> oh. oh, that guy puts out a lot of heat was too. That, was that? Dude, That's I, just, I just think I got a Bigfoot sighting. Now once Pat sees this, he's gonna be so, so moved and so touched. He's gonna have to give you that Contra 3 Alien Wars box. Sadly, the last day of Manifest is upon us. I have one mission and one mission only, to get that Contra 3 box. I did in fact bring the Contra 3 box and manual that I bought back in Vegas at CGE. I wanted to tease Billy and Rue with it again and see if one of them could make me a decent offer for it. I wanted to offer this as a bargaining chip. Yeah. It's uh, one of your favorite games, your favorite arcade of all time, of course in NES form. They ruined it with their ugly signatures. It is complete and it is signed by Jay and I. And I wish wow. to, to give this to you as, as, a, wow. as a token of our appreciation and as a possibly um, some sort well, of. As in, he's speechless. He's so. A, a, a trade for, yeah, for, for, for the Contra yeah. 3. I don't own this in triplicate at all. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I will consider it. I'll, I'll take it in consideration. But, My know. only real concern here is that Rue weasels his way in and gets the box before I do. <sighs> that bastard. Eric, sign by the game changer. You do a kick. Sign, game changer, spy hunter. You think I should go for a trade? All right. Contra box, yeah, it's worth it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> get, why don't you get, maybe if you get Eric to sign it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I think I need to work on him a little bit more. I'll be getting that box. Why do I want this Contra 3 box so bad? Is because it was one of my very first Super Nintendo games. I got Contra 3 along with the Super Nintendo for Christmas. But like an idiot kid, I threw away the box. And I haven't had it since. And when I do run across it, it's always overpriced. So, uh, where's the Contra? So this is our last time here at the booth. If I don't get the Contra 3 now, then it's not gonna happen. Contra, where's the Contra? You want the Contra? You want the Contra? I do. Buddy boy, Pat. I'll give it to you at the cost of life here. Is that fair? That at is totally cost. fair. Alright, 10 bucks. 10, 10 bucks. bucks. 10 bucks. We'll do 10 bucks. Only if you rub it in Rue's face. I will. Okay. I'll do that. Alright. The Contra 3 box trade, it wasn't the best for me. But you know what? I was helping out a fellow collector, which is what it's all about. I'm so happy to finally have this box in my collection. Uh, what do you think about that? I don't. You know what I think about that? Yeah. That's what I think about that. I'll let Billy have this one. Because. That's just the way game chase and go. Watch it go. Bye. It's time to get ready to get out of here. We're saying our goodbyes. Magfest 11 was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. I hate leaving these things, especially Magfest. I always look forward to these events, and it's really depressing to have to leave. Oil up and hit the gym with me. I will say it's been awesome meeting everybody. It's been great hanging out with Billy and Jay. Going another year without Billy and Jay? It's a tough thing for a man's heart to handle. This was just as good, if not better, than the last MacVest. Pat naked. These RetroWare TV guys, I love them! I love them to death, and I only get to see them like a few times a year at most. I can say Pat kiss me. No, not tongue, not even lips. What's wrong with you? That's the way retroware go.
gonna be a long road back, but it's gonna be pretty sweet. We're going back to a little place that I like to call the Game Room Trading Post. Will I find another sign there? Who knows? Well, I'm a floating head, huh? I pranked you! <laughs> I, I figured that out like... Chase is negative 17! Three days after we came back from MacFest, so it's... It's whatever. Pat one, Game Chaser 17, is that what he said? <laughs> That's about right, though. Douchebag.